Let's say we were given a set of parametric equations that represents a line in space, and let's say we were also given some random point in space. And the question was, what's the shortest distance from your point, let's call it Q, to that three-dimensional line? How would you find that, that shortest distance there? Um, it's not quite as straightforward as you might think because um, we don't know the point on the line that's closest to Q. So you can't just do a quick little distance formula and be done with it. It's a little bit more involved than, than that. But given the a set of parametric equations that represents a line in space, there are some things you, you can tell. Uh, for example, you can tell from this equation here, our set of equations, a point that's on the line, we'll call it point P, and that's the point X naught, Y naught, Z naught that you can read off of the set of parametric equations. And you can also tell a direction vector for the line, which indicates what direction it's going, and that's a vector ABC. So there are some things that are gonna be helpful to us in, in just a moment. Now, someone had a very clever idea uh, for how you can use these things to determine this distance d right here. If you notice, if you plot everything that I just referenced there, you almost come away with what looks like a right triangle, so to speak. And that's, that's really what, what we're gonna exploit here. So I think you would agree with me that if you look at this right triangle, you can use maybe like a sine relationship opposite over hypotenuse. And you could say something to this effect. You could say, that the sine of theta, and theta is the angle that your vector PQ makes with the, the line there, that would be equal to the distance that we're after divided by the magnitude of PQ. Uh, or to say it another way, you could um, multiply the norm of PQ to the sine term and have the distance equal to uh, the magnitude of PQ times the sine of theta. So this will compute your distance. There's just one problem though. I don't know what the sine of theta is. Um, I don't, I don't, in fact, don't, I don't even know what this angle is. Um, now there are a couple different routes you could go. There are some ways that you can find angles between two vectors, but there's actually a shorter way to get this end result. I'm gonna show you a, a clever little observation here. If you look at the right hand side, this might be a little obscure and you may not immediately remember this, but this almost reminds me of the magnitude of a cross product that we studied a few videos back. If you were taking the magnitude of, let's say, u cross v, then that formula for the magnitude was the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times the sine of theta. And this almost reminds me of that because I've got the magnitude of PQ, I've got the sine of theta. The only thing that's missing here is I don't have the magnitude of V. I don't, I don't have the other angle. So I'm gonna do something kind of clever. I'm gonna uh, add in an extra magnitude of V to the right-hand side and the left-hand side. All right, now this right-hand side if you recognize this, this is actually the formula for the magnitude of PQ cross V. Very clever little observation here. Again, go back to that formula. Magnitude of PQ cross V would be magnitude of PQ times the magnitude of V times the sine of the angle between them. So that's, that condenses to this little formula and then we still have the magnitude of V over here times the distance that we're after. All right, uh, last step and we're done. The distance, this D value here, if I can spell, the distance that we're after, this D, will equal the magnitude of PQ crossed with vector V divided by the magnitude of V. And each of those little items we can all find. So this is the guy you probably want to commit to memory. Um, so here's your steps in, a, in an actual example. Here's what you do. You'd be given a line and you'd be given a point, obviously. So what you're going to do is use your set of parametric equations for your line to find another point 
uh, some point that's on your line, we'll call it point P, then build a vector from P to Q, the point Q that was given. So you've got that guy. Uh, you can also quickly read off the direction vector for your line. We'll call that vector V. So you've got this guy. And so if you have those two vectors, you can take their cross product and then take that guy's magnitude, which will give you this result, and divide it by the magnitude of V, which you can also do as well. So you do all those little individual items, and what you come away with is the distance that you are after. Um, now I know that was a little involved. This, there's a lot of theory in, in this concept here in this video, and we didn't do an example, but in our next video, we'll actually work through an example where, where we really do actually find the distance from a real line to some point in space.